all good. Uh, 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 it's yeah. all good. good, good, good. It's all good. Uh, uh, it's yeah. all good. Uh, uh, it's all good. Uh, uh, yeah. 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 What's going on, New York? What's going on, New York? How you doing? First off, I want to say happy belated 4th of July to everybody. You know what I mean? Once again, I'm in a fabulous Prospect Park. Let me tell y'all. It is so beautiful out here right now. The humidity is low. Y'all remember those last couple of days? The humidity was real high and you couldn't even breathe? Oh my gosh. First off, I want to I want to thank the Lord. Thank the Lord for letting me see another day. This is how it should be. You know what I'm saying? First off, Salute to everybody. Thank y'all for continuing to support It's All Good TV and the Terrence Mills Show. Thank y'all. I got back from Miami. I went to Miami for like two days, you know what I mean? That was before the tropical storm. It was, it was flooded out there in Miami. When I got out there, they told me don't, you know, when I... They told me not to come come the following week. I came the following week. Everything was dried out. I had a wonderful time in Miami. Also, I just want to say once again, rest in peace. Rest in t peace to my dude, Macho. We miss you up there, Macho. You know what I'm saying? Please continue to look down on us. And please continue to protect us as we go on in this life. You know what I mean? So, what's going on? How's everybody doing? How's, how's everybody doing? Y'all good? You know what I mean? I, like I said, I hope everybody had a wonderful 4th of July. I sure did. I, you know, I'm supposed to be on like this diet and stuff like that. So, you know, I try not to, um, I'm trying not to eat as much barbecue as, as, as I can. There was a lot of big barbecues going on in the, in the park, especially here in Prospect Park, you know, and um, yeah, wonderful, wonderful. Once again, shout out to Spike Lee for the block party. I wasn't able to make it, and um, shout out to um, my boy uh, Mark Hugh. He was out there film. He filmed the pop-up shop for um, Spike Lee out there. So, Mark Hugh, if you're watching, it's all good TV, man. We salute you. You know what I mean? Great job, my brother. Great job. Also, shout out to my, my boy Omar slash rapper. Omar was one of the first guys um, on my show. And if you scroll all the way down to all my videos, to my first show, um, Omar was there. I, I had on like a leather coat because it was I, I, we filmed that. It was actually in the wintertime. And... Um, yeah, he was, congratulations to him, he has a movie on Tubi. Now I need to get the name, once I get the name of it, I'll post up the name of the movie and everything. But Omar, if you're watching this right now, it's all good TV, congratulations my brother. He's also a published uh, book author. And you know, he came on the show to talk about his book. You know, that was a while back, a couple of years back, you know what I mean? So Omar, I just want to say one thing to you, to you. We are so proud of you. We are definitely so proud of you. Congratulations and much success. You know what I'm saying? And keep moving forward. So, other than that, um, everything is everything is good right now. As we all know, please once again, don't forget to vote. Voting. This election is going to be the biggest election. It's going to determine whether we have freedom or not. Or we're going to be on a dictatorship. And don't forget to read Project 2025. That's going to explain everything. You see how I'm free right now? The birds are flying around me. The ducks is in the water. They're free. We don't know if we're going to have that next year. I'm sorry, this year. So, everybody, I'm not 
telling you who to vote for. I'm not telling you who to vote for, but if you like your freedom, you know what's up. You know what I mean? You definitely know what's going on. So to everybody, um, continue to support each other. You know, do thick and thin if you can. There's a lot of stuff coming up. Um, a lot of fashion shows. Once again, I will be covering Runway 7. <sighs> Runway 7, let's see, that was a, a lightning bug over here, flying over here. That's the, we in the wilderness, you know what I'm saying? I'm glad no bears and, and it's not coming out of the, like really, really in the woods, like some people film in the woods and the damn bears be coming out. You know what I'm saying? So, to everybody, um, you know, uh, I'll be covering uh, New York City Fashion Week in September. Shout out to everybody that went to Paris. Uh, my boy Michael Reed, he throws fashion shows in Brooklyn. He's going to be in Paris, but unfortunately I will not be able to make it because I will be covering Runway 7. So, you know, shout out to you, Michael Reed. Michael J. Reed, he throws some of the biggest fashion productions in Brooklyn, in Atlantic City. He's also an established publicist also. So kudos to him. Kudos to Michael Reed, and I hope, uh, you know, he have a great show out, out there in Paris. So, how's everybody doing? Everybody's okay? First off, I just want to shout out to all the beautiful, sexy women that's been supporting this All Good TV. I salute y'all. I want to shout out to all the kings out there. I salute y'all. I want to talk about the BET Awards. The BET Awards, I love all, all the artists. Don't get it twisted. However you get your bag, that's on you. You know what I mean? But... This year's BET Awards was very important. Salute to, to, to Raji P for bringing up 2025 and letting everybody know this is not no joke. We need to come out here and vote. This is not no joke. This year, November, this, this might be the last year of your freedom. I'm telling you. Dictators don't want freedom. They want control. And if you say anything, they'll send out the military against you. you Okay, let me put it to you this way. You don't want the United States turning into Russia. One man controlling all 50 states and he telling you what to do? Do y'all really want that? You know what I mean? Once again, salute. Salute to Biden. Keep standing strong, Biden. Don't even worry about it, baby. We got you. You had our backs. You saved us. You saved us. The stock market is doing great. The economy's doing good. Salute to you, Biden. You saved us. Now we're going to have your back. That's right. A blue wave is coming. I love blue. Blue has been one of my favorite colors so far. So once again, I just want to say that, um, you know, take care of each other, man. You know what I mean? There's a lot. There's a lot of there's a lot of state at state for this year. So, you know, going you know, going there, make sure you get up and vote. If you can get up and go get concert tickets or sneakers or whatever, you can get out there and vote. BT Awards to me the hottest performance, congratulations to Usher. The hottest performance was um What's her name at the end? The Fugees. That was Lauren Hill. She looked like she was hot in that outfit, but she tore it down. Um, don't get it twisted. I like Megan. I like Glorilla. Um, some of the other, it was like some of the, the format was of the show looked like people was trying to audition for a strip club. It was so much humping and twerking on on that stage. It was it was I was like, oh my god. Sexy red. Sexy red tracks is fire. Don't get it twisted. 
Sexy Red Trash is Fire. She calls herself ghetto. She calls herself a whore and a bitch. And I'm gonna tell you right now, she's, she's, she's not my role model. She's nobody's daughter role model. And she's, she's getting paid to demean herself. You know what I mean? She's getting paid to, to bring herself down to the lowest of bar. Yes, Tyler, congratulations on, on winning. She deserved that, you know what I mean? That ratchet, that ratchet music. The tracks is fire. The beats is fire, but some of the lyrics I don't, I don't, I don't stand by it. Cause you bringing, you all, you bringing, you bringing all, all you, you got little girls looking at this, and they be, they gonna turn to their parents. Mommy, I'm a bitch. Mommy, I'm a whore. That's what it's gonna come down to, because they watching this on TV. They watching this on TV. Unbelievable. I don't like it myself. The industry might like it because they making money off that. You know what I mean? And like I said, however you get your bag, sometimes people got to stoop to the lowest of low and demean themselves. Like really, really bad. Put themselves in a demeaning, awkward situation just to make money. You know, so once again, the BET Awards, congrats to Usher's. Some of it was hot and some of it was like, you know, I didn't I didn't really like it. It was a, it was crazy. It was like people was auditioning for P Valley. You know what I mean? So that was my take on the BET Awards. Um to everybody to everybody that's um on a grind still. Like it was one thing Taraji said, take care of yourself, man. Take care of yourself mentally before you can take care of others. There's a lot of people out here that's going through some things. Please take care of yourself. You know what I mean? You deserved it. Love yourself first. Love yourself first, and then you'll be able to love others. You know what I mean? So once again, I just want to say to everybody, peace, love, unity. Oh, y'all just don't know the breeze out here is so beautiful, man. It's a nice, cool breeze right now. Yes, it's a nice, cool breeze out here right now. That humidity, I don't wish that humidity on nobody. When I left New York, it was it was 80 something humidity, and then I went to Miami, it was worse. I couldn't even, it was like the heat was draining you. You know what I mean? I said, nah, man, I can't, I'm sorry, but I can't do this. I, I, I gotta go back to my hotel where, where it's nice and air conditioned. You know what I mean? I can't do it, it was just too hot. That humidity, you can't breathe. And I feel sorry for people with asthma. You cannot breathe in that humidity. So, this cool breeze that I'm feeling right now, you can see in the back of me, the trees is blowing, the leaves is blowing. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. This is mother nature. Climate change is real, y'all. Don't get it twisted, climate change is also real. So, you know, we gotta be careful with that. You know what I mean? We have to be careful. Climate change is real. So now, everybody, you know, I salute everybody. Once again, uh, everybody on YouTube. I salute all of y'all. You know what I mean? I, I watch all y'all shows. And for everybody to have created their own content during the pandemic, I salute all y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? And I'm still creating good content. I'm cre creating content for the borough of Brooklyn, the Bronx, um, uh, Atlanta. My shows airs all over. You know what I mean? And when I when I take my stuff back and edit it, I edit it. I'm just gonna edit straight out. You know what I'm saying? Cause 
I don't see some great editing content on YouTube. You know, they got all the subscribe button and all that stuff included. And sooner or later, I'll start to upgrade my editing skills. But right now, I have to put these shows out every week as fast as I can. So I really, and I'm doing it by myself, basically. I don't have an editing technician. I'm basically doing everything by myself. So I just put everything, try to um, create a show, and then, you know, throw it out as quick as quick as I can. I love the summertime because everybody, we finally out here. We're free. We're enjoying life. You know what I'm saying? And concerts are all over the place. People are having concerts everywhere. One after the one after the other. They having concerts everywhere. Yes indeed. That's how it's supposed to be, man. You gotta enjoy yourself, you know what I mean? If you hot, take advantage of it. Definitely. If you hot, take advantage of it. So uh in front of me but y'all can't see them. I have, I have two little kids, you know, they, they wondering and then they will walk down here and, and look at me filming and then they'll turn around and run away. You know what I mean? And I start laughing. They say, oh, okay, he's filming. We don't want, we don't want to, you know, bug him and nothing like that. So it's, it's just a wonderful thing, man. And mind you, this park, Prospect Park, when I used to run in this park, I damn near used to be in here by myself. Wasn't nobody in here. And then gradually people started moving in. And then marathons, there'd never been so many marathons in Prospect Park without me filming. I filmed a majority of the marathons here in Prospect Park. Shout out to Prospect Park Track Club. I filmed a lot of marathons. And then now, now you know everybody want to bring their uh, marathons in, in Prospect Park. New York City runs, you know what I mean? And, and rock and roll marathon. I was filming. So I actually had a platform and people watched it. Oh, let's go to Prospect Park because T said it's okay to run. This is an a historic park. Prospect Park is historic for everything. From the ducks, the swans, you know what I mean? The brick.tv concerts, the band shells, the, the boats, the bicycles, you know what I mean? Everything is historic here in Prospect Park. So if y'all never been to Prospect Park, come to, come to Brooklyn. If you live in Brooklyn, come to Prospect Park. This is where I train for all my marathons. If it wasn't for Prospect Park, Oh my gosh, I would have had to train somewhere else. I want to say shout out to Wingate Park, shout out to Flatbush, Brooklyn, shout out to H Block, Hawthorne Street, between Flatbush and Bedford Avenue, the home of so much talent. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to, shout out to my man Mark, Peter Nice, Vanessa, Priscilla, Miss Gibson, Hello to all of y'all. As you can see, I'm still on my grind. I'm still doing my thing. Shout out to Carol. You know what I mean? And just shout out to everybody, man. Shout out to Carol Hawthorne Street. You know what I mean? Her son's getting ready to go off to college. Doing a thing. Salute to you, Carol. And your hubby. You know what I mean? Congratulations on everything. For, for, for holding the fort down, for having so, so so much inspiring your kids are. They are so inspiring, you know what I mean? So Carol, if you watching, it's all good TV right now. We salute you, H Block, Hawthorne Street. We salute you and your kids. Your kids are gonna be very successful, you know what I mean? And I hope I can get some tickets to their football games when they make it to the NFL. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. It's nothing in the world when your kids become successful, man. That's a beautiful accomplishment. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Um, like I said, life is good. Life is great. Because why? You woke up. You woke up. You woke up. That's a blessing. You woke up. That's a blessing. It's a new day. New opportunities. New beginnings. You know what I mean? You woke up. 
The Lord woke you up today. That's a blessing. I have no complaint. I used to I used to complain a lot about a lot of BS. That material stuff, nothing. It don't mean nothing. Life is more important. Life is more important, man. It is. Life is more important. That material stuff is good to have. You know, like the car, you know, the little jewelry, the diamonds. It's fine. The money, but life is important, man. Because when you get sick, who do you who you call for? You call for that man upstairs. Please, God, heal me. I'm not feeling well. Please heal me, please. You know what I mean? Life is beautiful, man. Everybody's beautiful. I don't, like, walked around this park. I don't ran through this park. Coney Island Boardwalk is off the chain right now. You know what I mean? We was in Decap Fulton Market with Soul Summit last Friday off the chain. Shout out to Soul Summit. You can go to www.soulsummit.com. Decal Fulton Street Market is actually on Fulton Street, and you go downstairs, they got all the restaurants downstairs. They got Cat's Deli. They got the, the they got the new um, NYU Theater on Fulton Street that just opened up, you know. And um, yeah, once again, if you ever in Brooklyn, Atlantic Avenue, Decal Avenue, man, check it out. Yes, indeed. So once again, salute to everybody. I'm still out here grinding. I'm still out here uh, taking photos and pictures. Don't forget Target first Saturday at the Brooklyn Museum, be off the chain. Um, the Brooklyn Public Library is off the chain. You know what I mean? I went to, I went to their function the June 10th. June 10th function, we will continue to fight for our freedom on this planet by voting in November. We want freedom, not a dictator. Remember that. We want freedom, not a dictator. Once again, please read. Go and read Project 2025. I'm telling y'all, it's real. It's real. I'm telling y'all. You put the wrong person in there, I won't be sitting in a park no more free. Because there might be military people in here telling you to, you can't sit here. You can't film here. You can't talk here. No more concerts. No more going to the games. None of that. All that is done on the dictatorship. Is done. Wake up. Make wake up America. I'm telling you what's gonna happen. Yes, indeed. I got a few minutes left. I want once again. I want to shout out to everybody. Everybody, thank y'all for tuning in to It's All Good TV, the Terrence Mill Show. You know what I'm saying? And I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm still working. I'm putting that work in. I love what I'm doing. You know what I mean? Continue to uplift and inspire people, man. Stay away from them negative people, them haters, always trying to bring you down. You know what I'm saying? It's people that don't like you. It's people that don't want to see you succeed. It's people hating on you because they want to be like you and they don't know how to. People like that, when they have thought process, get away from them quick because they'll try to hurt you. You know what I mean? And it's people like that. Everybody been blessed with their own destiny. Please go find your destiny and bless the world. That's how it should be instead of hating on uh, other people. Instead of hating on everybody. I can't stand them. You know what I mean? You don't know what people been through to get to that level where they are now. Sacrifices, man. A lot of people been homeless, eating f uh, food out of the garbage can just to get to their destination. You know what I'm saying? Like Will Smith on the BT Awards, you can make it. You can make it. Will Smith said, I smacked somebody. I shouldn't have done that. You know what I mean? I felt bad about it. I shouldn't have done it. But, you know, you still can go out here and turn your life around and say, sorry, I apologize. The devil was working that day. You know what I mean? And you gotta, you gotta admit, the devil is always working, man. He always trying to find that weak mind. You know what I'm saying? So America, let's go, baby. Let's get let's 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 stand behind my man, Biden. You know what I mean? And some of y'all wish 
you can reach 80 something years old and still be in your right state of mind. Talking about old, oh, talking about he should step down. Y'all should wish to reach 80. Get behind that man, cause he was behind you and saved America. Now let's go help him save America, ladies and gentlemen. Let's help, help Biden save America. That's right. Yes, indeed. Oh my God, it's so beautiful out here, man. Shout out to everybody. Shout out, uh, shout out to my, my moms, Miss Castleberry. You know what I mean? Shout out to my auntie, Creedell. You know what I mean? Shout out to everybody. Parents, mothers, grandfathers, and everybody, man. We gotta, we, we gotta fight for them. My mother said, I don't want to go back to 1920 when they was calling me the N-word. My mother said that. I don't want to go back to that when they was calling me the N-word with my grandmother. So now, people, we have to fight for our grandkids, uh, man, and the future. You know what I mean? We don't want no dictator here, man. Y'all got to wake up. You know what I'm saying? Yes, indeed. Y'all have to wake up. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. So once again, I just want to say thank y'all. You see the sun is shining, look at that. I'm out here speaking and the Lord just opened the clouds and shined the sun on me. Yeah, <laughs> that's the man upstairs, baby. That's the, that's the man upstairs. He just shined the light on me. Thank you, Lord, for everything. I love you so much, Lord. Thank you for waking me up this morning. Thank you for blessing me. Thank you for the roof over my head. Thank you for giving me blessings upon blessings and opportunities and keeping my head straight. You, you know what I mean? And keeping me away from the Hennessy. <laughs> the Hennessy White. I need a bottle of Hennessy White. Somebody please send me a bottle of Hennessy White. You know what I'm saying? I was in Miami and guess what? They had Hennessy White. I should have bought that. Yo, that bottle's like almost $90 for a bottle of Hennessy White. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, yo, the, the Hennessy, the Hennessy White is almost $90. So once again, I just want to say to everybody, thank you. Thank you for tuning in. And I hope you all continue to support each other go out there and do what's right let's save this country let's save this planet let's save this universe from dictatorship you know what i mean this is for our ancestors baby this is for our grandmothers our grandfathers our ancestors yes let's save them we don't want to go back to 1920 well we all gonna be slaves and be in camps and being shipped out and deported out we don't want that you know what I mean? So once again, shout out to my man, Weedy Parkside, Brooklyn, PS92, holding it down with all the basketball. I love you, Carlos, AKA Weedy, my brother. I love you, man. You know what I'm saying? So next year, let's go Knicks. Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, 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 yeah, uh, yeah, uh, uh. uh. Ah, uh, peace, yeah.